Questions? <laughs> no? Good. Even better. <laughs> Uh, what was your favorite part of the experience? Um, my favorite part of this experience is I got to learn how to be an entrepreneur in the 21st century. So as I mentioned before, we spent a lot of time at, uh, in Tate. Um, we spent some time in some co-working spaces. It was just a really cool experience to see what entrepreneurs do and how they work. Some nights I started working at 9 o'clock. There were some days I started working at 6 in the morning. So every day my schedule was really different, which I really enjoyed. What are your plans next year at UW? Uh, so next year I plan, I'm going to the George Washington University. Um, I'm in a business school. Currently I'm undecided, but I have a feeling I'm going to head into the marketing social media aspect, as that's something I really enjoyed um, during this podcast. Um, so as I said in the beginning, when I told my parents that I wanted to do CAPS, they were a little confused as to why I was going to drop half of my classes, drop my AP, and go work with a fitness instructor and what the heck I was doing. But it was more than dropping classes. It was learning real life, how the real world works, and time management, and making connections with people. And I went to so many events, and I made so many connections. And so many people said, hey, when you're done with high school, when you're done with college, give me a call. I want to offer you a job. You have such a great work ethic. And that's, that's something that I'm really grateful to have because walking up and down these hallways, I've never been offered a job. So that was just, <laughs> that was something I'm really grateful for. Uh, what, would you, what would you take from this experience if you were going to the future? Oh, what will I take most from this? Um, I think it's important to engage with your audience and know what they're interested in because we spent a lot of time trying to figure out what our group of people were, what our audience was, and for us it happened to be a lot of women between the ages of 20 and late 30s, and because of that we had to figure out, okay, when are these women on their phones. Are they on in the morning? Are they on at night? Do they go on during their lunch break? When's the best time to post an episode that it's going to get the most amount of reach and that the most amount of people are going to listen to it? So I think figuring out that timing and really finding the, finding the most you can about the group you're marketing to is really important. What is your passion opportunity? What was what? What's your podcast going to be about? What's my podcast going to be about? Um, I think I'm grateful to just be a part of a team rather than make my own. It's a lot, a lot of work. Um, so splitting between 50 is still a lot of work. Between two, 50% is still a lot of work. But I think I'm good for now. Yeah. <laughs>